Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk. Today we debate Dignitas and what the heck they're doing in League of Legends across other esports as well, because this is all going to affect it. That's going to be the subject of today. Uh, all about the money they've spent so far on one League of Legends member. For anyone who's unaware out there, it takes five men to play the game, and they currently still only have one man on their roster. But at least according to some, he's the best top laner in League of Legends, right? Not exactly quite the case. If we did, if you guys were here, we broke it down two weeks ago, and this is an unprecedented amount. He actually could be reportedly, if not the highest, it's definitely in debate for what could be the highest ever in NALCS when it comes time for a contract, a two-year deal, $2.3 million, further brought to us by Inven Global, is not only the fact that Dinatosk is struggling to afford other players to finish out the roster, even sign, heck, a second member, which they have not done so far. Along with that, apparently this contract deal has incentives which obviously means if they maybe win a split, make playoffs, make worlds, there's further incentives that, yes, will pay Huni even more money, which could be a value of over $3 million across two years. We thought 2.3 was ridiculous, and they're willing to pay up towards of, of supposedly what could be over $3 million for a single player in League of Legends across just two years. And now, yes, what a shocker. They've also rebranded not only the clutch gaming name, the Dignitas brand, which we'll get, we'll talk about the brand in a second here, guys. Besides that, they've now rehauled and rebranded the entire roster besides just one member, Huni, and they have no one else left on the roster. Of course, getting rid of Vulcan and a gigantic buyout, which included the shifting of a player on alongside that. Get rid of DeMonte, the rest of the roster as well. And it really shocks me we have these kind of stories where Inven Global is now reporting that they could be spending upwards, if not a bit past, a third of their budget on a single player, especially when you take into account it could end up being over a $3 million deal by the time he actually leaves the roster because there's no way they can afford to re-sign this guy after two years. We'll see how that comes down to. Two years from now, let's mark this video come back and see what Huni's being paid then. Along with all of this, though, it comes at a very weird time for the Dignitas brand themselves. We have seen many figures out there, especially Monte Cristo uh, on the Cloud Nines. Uh, thanks to our writer, he pointed this out to me last week. I was going to talk about this, but Monty, well, he rehashed the same flame. That being Dignitas and their branding is likely, uh, kind of a likely comparison to that of, I would say, Splice. And when it comes time for esports brands out there, Dignitas is not well known for being a brand-heavy, impressionable, viewable, and well-known brand name. And I don't think it can be argued. Monty dropped a bomb on Twitter. And yes, it is true, not only here in America, other countries as well. When you Google Dignitas, what do you get? You get an assisted suicide, you know, die with dignity, all these really weird websites, which I'm not going to go into. And yes, maybe you have Dignitas Twitter coming up. That's great. But alongside that, though, there are so many other things that apparently Dignitas is known for. And it's not esports. Even further comes at a very weird time for a team and organization who's also trying to bounce back into CSGO, which, by the way, not as expensive as League of Legends, but certainly a pretty penny it will cost them because we have people like Decay from CSGO now leaking uh, at least part of their roster which will include a couple of buyouts, which will be a steep amount of money that Dignitas continues to dump into esports, and, and they're not an impression-based organization. Can they return this years down the line? I have no idea, but you invest into an LCS spot, and you further invest and overspend into a single player, and as of right now, when it look, comes time for looking to the next LCS split, you have a one-player roster, you've spent nearly $3 million on that single player, and you can't even tell yourself he's the best in the world or one of the best in the world. How does this kind of stuff go through in the meetings? I mean, we right here as a team, we legit had a video about this. I'm not going to play the audio because I suck at being funny, but you can pretty much presume how that video did go down. It's it's pretty much Hooney. We seemingly had his way in that meeting room. He asked for what he wanted and maybe got above what he asked for. Obviously, I don't expect Hooney to sit down and say, hey, I want 2.3 with incentives to be above 3 million. I don't know how those, I'm super curious how that meeting did go down. And that's facts we will never know about guys, but I don't think anyone out there is doubting they have now officially officially overpaid for Huni. We knew that two weeks ago and now with these latest reports we know it for sure Dignitas has overspent their funds. They still have budget left, right? They sold off Vulcan. They sold off probably a few of those guys as well to other teams out there. They still have a budget left. When it comes time to actually bring together an all-star roster, they've already spent their all-star money and we'll see who actually comes together to finalize their League of Legends team for the upcoming season. It's insane, guys. Dignitas is now making some moves out there that are concerning, and they're not the only ones. Let's get that correct, okay? Let me finish this off by saying Dignitas, you know, they've been well-known across a couple esports out there, and, and I say this in a... In a, in a, in a 
not too harsh way. They're well known for Rocket League. You know, they've had a fall off there as well, at least a little bit, but they're still well known. I just wouldn't say they're very impressionable when it comes to being compared to other top orgs out there, and they certainly are spending a concerning amount of money. Evil Geniuses doing the same amount of thing. Luminosity Gaming going to Call of Duty. Those are all concerns of mine, but as of right now, the top concern of mine is Dignitas is just spending, and I don't see where they're going to be making. Until next time, I hope you guys all enjoy. Breaking down esports and gaming news here every single day, all day long. I hope you guys all enjoy. I'll see you all back here sometime soon. Cheer up. Have a great day. Drink some coffee, orange juice. I'll see you guys back here. All right? Bye. Bye.